What's up everybody? Welcome to another exciting review from Geek Review Zing. Today I have the Hu 2. This is the 64 gigabyte um, lightning compatible USB drive. This is a great uh, way to put files onto your phone and take files off of your phone. Um, we all know that iPhones, they don't have a lot of space. You have to pay a premium to get a lot of space on your phone. So things that don't take high priority like movies and photos, they, they just don't fit on your phone. So if you're going traveling, you can load this full of movies and photos, and it's an excellent option. So you'll see in the box, it doesn't have any um, instruction manuals. That's because all the instruction manuals are on this drive. I think there's six different languages for that. You'll see right away that uh, it has this sort of extension piece for the lightning cable uh, adapter here. That usually fits most cases I've found. Okay, so this is the easiest way to download the software. The software is iPlugMe. You just plug it in the bottom, and then it'll have a pop-up saying, uh, would you like to download the software for iPlugMe? I've already had that installed, so right now it's just, I plugged it in the bottom, and it's saying, do you want to open up iPlugMe? So I'm going to click Allow. Here's the app. And here's the main screen. So you can see all the photos and videos stored on here. I just uploaded a video from my MacBook. Uh, the About Time movie, this took about a minute to upload from my computer. How I uploaded it is I put the USB into my computer, uploaded the photo, or the video, sorry, and now here's the video, and it's ready to be played on my MacBook, which is, or sorry, my iPad, which is awesome. Overall, you can store your photos. You can take your photos from your iPad, put it on your Hutu, and you can take your photos from your Hutu, put it on your iPad. Uh, same with videos, same with music. Backup will back up your iPads or your iPhones uh, specific photos and videos stored in your photo and video folder and that'll back it up to your Hutu drive. Files and folders, same thing. You it's pretty straightforward. Last but not least, there's camera. You can access your camera. And then here we are in the back. Um, you can take photos and snap it directly to your Hutu file if you want. And then we can access that by going to external storage and then Hutu photo. And there we are, there's my photo. It'll save it directly to the Hutu drive. All right, here we are in the settings for the Hutu. So you can see the firmware 2.64.0, version is 1.0.38. You can format your device, it's telling you that it will destroy your data. There's third uh, third party player settings, enable that if you want to have your third party player settings. Uh, privacy settings, so you can put an encryption on this USB. Let's go ahead and try it. So it'll tell us to enter a password, we enter a password, and then now this USB is password protected uh, and it's encrypted. You can select your language from one, two, three, four, five, six plus English, and then you can adjust your cache size. So what I'm gonna do as a test here, I'm gonna click the movie that I've installed on here about time, and then I'm going to add it to my iPad and see how long it takes to transfer to my iPad. All right, so now we're gonna do a test for loading a movie from my Hutu external storage. We're gonna load this about time movie. Immensely satisfactory. I'm so happy. So this is on my external storage. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit multi-select. Select the video. Copy to. We're going to put it in my movie section of my camera. Or of my iPad, sorry. We're going to hit paste. You can see right now it's 1833. I'll come back when the video is finished. And we'll see how long that takes. And here we are. 1835. The transfer just is about to be completed. And there we go. So that was pretty fast to transfer an 870 odd megabyte file from the Hutu device to my iPad. So that's a very fast speed. So now let's go and do it in reverse and let's transfer that video back to my Hutu stick and we'll see how long that takes. So now it's on the, the iPad. We're gonna select it here, multi-select. Then we're gonna go to copy to. We're gonna switch from internal storage to external. We have our backup here that we already put onto our storage device. Now we're going to create a folder. Let's call it um, movie. Movie. Hutu. Hutu. 
Thank you, spell correct. So now we're gonna go paste. So now it's 1842. We're gonna see how long it takes to transfer that 870 megabyte file back onto the Hotu device. We'll see you soon. And there we are, 1845, the file has just transferred. So that's a total time of 1845. All right, here we are on my Android TV. I got the A95 box and I have my Hutu device plugged in there. So now that we uploaded all my, my iPads backup to the Android device, let's go ahead and let's find that on my Android TV local. So we're gonna go to file browse. <laughs> so you can see up top, uh, backup, phone backup, pictures, the iPad, and then the camera roll. And here's all my pictures from my iPad. Let's just select one, just to give you an example. So we took a picture of a, a sheet here, I guess. So that just demonstrates that this device is also compatible with Android TV boxes. Overall, I think this should come with every Apple device. It should come with an little flash stick just so you have extra storage for photos videos music anything that you want to store on your stick and don't want to store specifically on your device and vice versa this is a great way to just back up quickly your videos and photos back onto a hutu device thanks for watching i think this little hutu gizmo is awesome